Oi, 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 oi. Welcome back to One Click In. I know it's been a long time, but uh, the wife and I moved to an island. Uh, we moved to Rottnest Island in Western Australia and we've been loving over here, but there's no bikes, so that's why the uh, videos have kind of stopped. But this weekend, I'm escaping and uh, I've hired a Yamaha MT-10 for the weekend. Unfortunately, it looks like the weather is not on my side. It's been sunny and beautiful over here. And this weekend, they're forecasting uh, rain, thunderstorms and possible hail. So I'll see how I go. That could be exciting. I'm traveling down to Walpole, where there's uh, the Valley of the Giants and a, a treetop walk. So I'm just on the ferry now, as you can probably see and hear. I've got Rottnest Island in the background there. I'm traveling over to Fremantle. If you don't know where these places are, I'll put a map up here showing you where Rottnest is. And then I'll put a larger map of Australia up so anyone overseas can work out where we are. And uh, I'll be heading down south today, down to Walpole. Um, and we'll see what happens with the weather. So wish me luck. So I'm just pulling into uh, Fremantle now on the ferry. Now I've just got to catch myself an Uber to the uh, motorcycle place and away we go. All right, I reckon this is my Uber guy here and his pimped out Camry. I'll probably have a crash with him later. It's a white Camry. <laughs> All right, so I've just been dropped off here and I'm hoping this is the spot. <laughs> I think I can see a bike in the distance. So that's a yeah, that's a good sign. And there she is. So that's my bike for the next two days. Um, like me, not the prettiest thing, but I'm sure it'll be effective. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pack it up and get going. Nice. So after about 400 k's ride today, I've made it to the treetop walk and it's just kind of raining.
All right, this is the start of the treetop walk. Apparently it goes up 40 meters um, gradually, so anyone can kind of do it. Uh, the trees around here are massive, that's for sure. It's looking good, and it's kind of just, just drizzling a little bit. We are going up. And apparently this walkway does move. It's built, oh I can feel it moving. It's built to do so. Huge trees. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> I'll pan up. Nice. And you can see, maybe, if, if this isn't compensating for it, you can see how much this actually moves and bounces around. So there's red tingles and there's yellow tingles. All kinds of tingles. Wow. massive trees here we go I've reached the highest point here 40 meters above ground level that was actually a really easy walk for anyone who's wondering whether they'd make it it's really easy didn't even didn't even get a puff up so this structure peaks out at 40 meters above the ground so I reckon this tree here would have to be about 55 meters thereabouts this old girl here this is where I don't want to drop my camera or anything Some of the plants have origins that can be traced back 65 million years to the supercontinent Gondwana when Australia was joined with what is now Africa, India, Antarctica and South America. Approximately 50 million years ago this landmass drifted apart to form separate continents in similar positions to the, those they occupy today, although they are still slowly moving. Yes, I read that, but it's interesting. So these have a canopy ranging between 30 to 80 metres in height and they include the red tingle, yellow tingle and what else? A jarrah of course, jarrah. Love a jarrah. And tingle forest holds an abundance of food source for native animals including nuts, seeds, nectar, fungi, fruit and insects. Apparently there's meant to be some quokkas here, uh, but I haven't seen any. I'm used to hordes of quokkas on rot nest, so uh, I haven't seen any jumping about as yet. I'll keep a lookout for a quokka, because I love a quokka.
now I'm down the bottom again after the walk. It wasn't a huge walk. Um, it's almost more impressive from the bottom because have a look at the base of this tree here. Unreal. It's even a sign here. Tree that tingles with respect. Tingle trees have shallow roots. Compaction of the soil around the trees can lead to their death. Look after our tingles by staying on the path to avoid damaging sensitive roots. It's a bit of a worry that they've got shallow root systems considering they're this tall. <laughs> and this is the famous Grandma Tingle tree. I reckon it looks like a, a face. You can tell more if you look at the look at the description here. Warts and all. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Wow. That one's properly hollowed out. <laughs> Fully hollowed out. Wow. Don't think the camera will like this, but I'll try to show you inside of the tree and I'll pan up. <laughs> wow. Massive trees. And back to the path. I'll better keep moving. It's going to get wet. Oh, look at this one. Bizarre shapes. This one's fallen down. It's huge. Wow. All right, so I'm just about to check out of my room at Walpole. Walpole, I can never say it right. Um, it's been thunderstorms and rains. Rains? It's been, take two. It's been thunderstorm and rain all night. And just as I'm about to leave, it looks like it's stopped. Just. Clouds are still looking pretty threatening. Just gave the bike a wipe over and off I go. And just like that, I'm back to Rottnest Island, home sweet home. Been a great ride the last couple of days. Like to thank CR Motorcycle Training and Rental for hooking me up with the big MT10. It was bloody good. Nice to be back here on the island. Beautiful day. 
Have a look, check it out. Nice. All right, thanks for watching the video. Tuning out, ciao.